I'm going to go through this question in a couple of ways. First up, I considered it by actually performing the subtraction. We're told that a is less than b, which means I'm going to have to exchange a minus 1 from here and then add 10 to here. Just like you would do if you were doing, say, 91 minus 73. You can change this to an 8 and move the 10s over to here to make it 11 and then do the subtraction, 18. So that's what I've done here. I've just added the 10 on, which is exactly what I was doing here. So that means a plus 10 minus b must equal 6. And therefore, a minus b is equal to minus 4. b minus a is equal to 4. And if we look at the other one, we've got b minus 1 minus a equal to c. And that means that b minus a is going to equal c plus 1. We've got b minus a in both cases, so it must be that c plus 1 is equal to 4, and therefore c is equal to 3. Note that we haven't found a and b, and actually there's more than one answer. As long as they differ by 4, then we could do, for example, 51 minus 15, that would equal 36. We could do 62 minus 26, that would also equal 36, as long as we find uh, to a pair that you know subtract or well, the difference is four then there's more than one answer but in but all cases c is going to equal three now for another approach and it is instead to write uh, you can write a number like 73 as 10 times 7 plus 3 you can put it in sort of i always call it powers of 10 form so we can write ba as 10b plus a and then i'm minusing 10a plus b and then that's going to equal 10c plus 6 so 10b plus a minus 10a minus b is equal to 10c plus 6 that means 9b minus 9a or 9b minus a is equal to 10c plus sorry that was should have been a 6 there not a 9 or something like that Okay, now we can think about, right, the thing on the left must be a multiple of 9, so we could write down our multiples of 9, and actually the units digit has got to be 6. The only multiple of 9 that ends in a 6 is actually 36, and from this we can see that C must equal um, 3, because I just want to say that again, that we've got a multiple of 9 here, we know it ends in a 6, the only one that does that is 36, and therefore 10c must equal 30, so c is again equal to 3. Again, we can see uh, as long as you um, have a difference of then 4 between b and a, with b being a large one, then you'll get the same answer, and hence all these, uh, this, these solutions plus other ones. We've got 73 minus 37, and then uh, 84 minus 48 and even 95 minus 59. Could we go with, no, well, we could maybe even go 40 minus 04 as our last solution. Anyway, C is equal to three.